Hi everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome to this new video and Happy New Year to everyone that's watching. And since it's a new year, I'm gonna start off doing new things and new foundations. So if you guys know, I usually just wear a BB cream. I don't really like to wear heavy foundations. And I wanna try out the new Fenty Beauty Foundation and the MAC Studio Fix Foundation and see which is the best foundation. Right now I don't really have any face makeup, I just have some eyeshadows and eye makeup and I'm gonna be applying the Fenty Beauty foundation on this side, on the right side of my face and on the left side of my face I'm gonna be applying the MAC Studio Fix foundation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply some primer onto my skin and all over my face. So I usually use a Smashbox Photo Finish foundation primer And I have oily skin, especially I get really oily on my T-zone. So hopefully these foundations will keep me matte. By using the primer, I'm already giving it a good foundation so the coverage lasts a long time and so the oiliness doesn't like seek through the foundation. In the Fenty foundation, I am in the shade 310. And both these foundations claim to be long wear and a medium to high coverage. So before this, I'm going to blend this out with a foundation brush. So the Fenty Beauty foundation doesn't have a strong smell at all, which is something I like. Um, it feels very light so far and it matches my skin pretty well. I have, it seems very yellow um, and I have yellow undertones, golden undertones, so it fits pretty, pretty good. And it does finish off as a matte. It does have a matte finish. So on the other side of my face, I'm gonna apply the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC42. All right, so I'm gonna clean my brush. So one thing that this MAC foundation does have is SPF. It's a SPF 15 and Fenty Beauty foundation does not have SPF, so that's a con. But either way, whenever I moisturize, my moisturizer that I'm already wearing underneath this has SPF 15. But SPF does affect flashback. So I have been using these two foundations for the past two days. I, one day I used the Fenty Beauty, and the other day I used the MAC foundation. And both of them lasted the whole entire day. Um, but I never put them side to side like this right now and I can definitely see a difference in the pigments. This side is much more orange than this side. It looks more, uh, it has yellow undertones but not as potent as the side, the MAC side. Uh, and another thing is that the MAC side uh, dries up slower than the Fenty side. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish doing my normal makeup routine. I'm gonna contour. Uh, finish doing my eyes and everything and I'll get back to you guys and let's see who the winner is on this battle of foundations All right guys, so I just finished putting on all, all my makeup. I have my eyeliner done lipstick contour Everything and by the way on my lips. I have the new Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks in three different shades uh, If you guys haven't seen my review on that video, I'll link it down below so I outline my lips with PMS and I added a little bit of Freckle Fiesta and went in in the middle with single. So this is the finish that you see with a Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 310. And I have all of my contour done, all of my highlighting done, everything done full face. And this is the MAC foundation, Studio Fix and NC42. and you guys tell me if you guys see any difference. So when I use them individually um, on my face the past two days, I did notice that they both controlled the oil very well and they both lasted the entire day. And something that I would like to note saying that is that I use primer, the Smashbox primer, I use the Laura Mercier finishing powder, translucent powder I mean, and also the Urban Decay All Nighter Finishing Spray and all of these products are used to contain that oil so I wouldn't really 
say that the foundations were the ones that helped me with the oil i would say that um all of those other products were the ones that helped me with my oily skin so for the fenty i noticed that it's very a natural finish it looks like skin and it feels very light on the skin it does not have any odor but it does not have spf either um and the mac is very orangey it's a little bit too orangey but um it dries down and it blends into my skin well just like the fenty one the fenty one um when you first apply it it's a little bit lighter than your actual skin tone but once it dries down it kind of blends into your skin tone very nicely the mac side has a smell and it's the smell i honestly i don't like it uh, but once you're done applying it and it dries off the smell kind of goes away and it's not a strong smell, it's just like, I don't know, it smells like like paint or something or like a chemical and I just don't, don't like it. They're both creasing, this is something to note. They're both creasing around the mouth, but the MAC side is creasing a lot more than the Fenty Beauty side. Another thing is that through the Fenty side, I can see more of my pores, which is because it gives you more of a natural finish and the one on the MAC side, you don't really see that. It's more of just like a, a swipe. You don't really get that. They're, they both have a lot of shade ranges, so I'm sure you'll find your shade in both MAC. And of course, we know that Fenty has a bunch of shades as well. Another thing that could influence what you want to buy is the price range, of course. So Fenty Beauty, which is on my right side, this one retails for $34. And the MAC Studio Fix Foundation retails at $34. 29 yes 29 dollars so that's something that's definitely gonna be in your fact in the factors as i told you i like more of a natural finish i like more of that skin look which is what the fenty beauty foundation is giving me and the mac is not mac is giving me high high coverage not my style but it's it could be your style that's fine like if you like high coverage go for the mac if you don't like high coverage, go for the Fenty Beauty. It's natural, gives you that nice skin finish. I'm not saying this just because uh, I've liked Fenty products in the past, but honestly, I think that the Fenty, Fenty foundation is more suited towards me because I don't like heavy foundation. I don't like foundation that you can feel on your skin that creases or that has uh, a lot of coverage because I like more of a skin finish and they both look nice honestly they work well together I feel like if I just go out into the world with like half this side and half the other product people won't know that I'm wearing two foundations because they both look good and they match me well at the counter which is impressive to say the least um, and that's more on them that's why they both look kind of like one uh, right now that I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. If you do, let me know and I can be like, they did not match me well at the counter. But yeah, <laughs> my ultimate winner and the one that I'm gonna go back to and buy is the Fenty Beauty. I did just get two little samples because I am not about to go and buy the whole bottle of two different foundations. I don't have that coin yet, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Fenty Beauty and buy that foundation. And whenever I want to use more coverage other than BB cream. So I hope you guys like this video and if you did let me know in the comments because I'm usually down there chatting it up with you guys too and please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you next time. Nos vemos pronto. Bye!